Okay, here we are in the church at Stockbridge, uh, where Edwards uh, was the second pastor. And uh, they have several memorials uh, to the first six pastors of the church. And here's the one uh, about Edwards. In memory of Jonathan Edwards, second pastor of this church, missionary, preacher, philosopher, who while ministering to this humble parish in the wilderness composed those treaties on the freedom of the will and on original sin, which have given him universal fame. Born at Windsor, Connecticut, October 5th, 1703, installed over this church, August 9th, 1751, dismissed to accept the presidency of the College of New Jersey, January 4th, 1758, died at Princeton, March 22nd, 1758. I just uh, earlier today read um, a little paper that speaks of the history of this pulpit. And while this uh, would not, to my understanding, would not be the original pulpit that Edward used, it says that the some of the wood used to construct this pulpit uh, would have been used in Edward's day. I'm not exactly sure if they meant from the house that he lived in, or from the uh, where the church that Ed, the church building that Edwards was in stood, uh, but nonetheless, uh, some part of that pulpit has some sort of connection to Edwards. Um, now back on back on this plaque, just the one thing that struck me when I read it, uh, compared uh, to the pastorate at Northampton, um, this would be, uh, in their words. A humble parish in the wilderness. Uh, Solomon Stoddard, the father of, excuse me, the grandfather of Edwards, his mother's father, um, I believe uh, the usual number, they mention about 600 people, uh, was a member of the church at Northampton. Um, Solomon's, uh, uh, Jonathan's grandpa, Solomon, uh, was there for six decades, and, uh, you know, it was a I don't know if prestigious is the right word, um, but uh, much bigger, uh, much more prestigious compared to their words, the humble parish in the wilderness. But about all the places Edwards could have gone when he was voted out of Northampton, in God's providence, he ended up here. And when he was here, he used his time wisely. While it may not have been uh, that he had every minute free, uh, I would assume that compared to Northampton, he probably had more free time. Uh, and he made use of it instead of uh, complaining and um, criticizing. He realized that this was God's will for his life. And he used those last few years of his life uh, to write uh, The Freedom of the Will, Original Sin, uh, The Nature of True Virtue, and The End for Which God Created the World. Um, as far as his sermons and his miscellaneous goes, I'm not exactly sure where uh, in the number of miscellanies that it changed from Northampton to Stockbridge, uh, but I do know that, at least here, Freedom of the Will, Original Sin, and then uh, the two dissertations, The Nature of True Virtue and uh, Why God Made the World. Uh, he wrote those here at the humble parish, and little did he know how much God would use those works. So wherever God's will leads us in life, uh, let's make the best of it. Let's use our time wisely and leave the results up to the Lord. If he chooses to bless those works, it's not too hard for him to turn a humble parish into a place where God will spread our works abroad when they glorify him.